Walter from Memorial has a question about backer replacements. Well, that's because they had five feet of the water in their home for two weeks, Tom. Mm. And Walter writes, we need to remove the backer board between the bricks and the studs because the insurance will not pay to have the brick removed during this process, as I've heard you say more than once. Yeah. Do you have any suggestions on how to accomplish this? Let it dry out. Leave it alone. Don't take it out. Uh, so the insurance company is right, just let it be? Let well, it I'm not going to say they're right or wrong. They're just <laughs> no. not going to pay for it. I was trying it. to bait you into saying uh, something good about insurance companies. There. I okay. mean, if we lived in the perfect world, we'd tear the house down and rebuild it. Just can't do it. And that's the problem. That's why homes are never meant to be flooded to begin with. No. We try to put them back together. We hope there'll never be another one. Quite frankly, there probably will be. So I would just tell you, let it dry out. Just dry, dry, dry. If it takes a little extra month or so to dry, just let it dry. And then go ahead and put your house back together the way we've always talked about with the antibacterial sprays and the pigmented shellacs and put the house right back together. You have a question? Send it our way at homeshowradio.com. Or you can watch more answers here. Be sure and subscribe.